I guess Giles had a big night plan tonight. Giles didn't set this up. Angel did. This is the wrapping for the gift. Oh, man. Poor Giles. Look, all his weapons are gone. But I thought he kept his weapons at the library. No, those are his uh, everyday weapons. These were his good weapons. The ones he uh, breaks out when company comes to visit. So he's not here? Well, then where is he? He'll go to wherever Angel is. That means the factory, right? So Giles is going to try to kill Angel then? Well, it's about time somebody did. Sander. I'm sorry, but let's not forget that I hated Angel long before you guys jumped on the bandwagon. So I think I deserve a little something for not saying I told you so long before now. And if Giles wants to go after the uh, fiend that murdered his girlfriend, I say faster, pussycat, kill, kill. You're right. Thank you. There's only one thing wrong with Giles in a revenge scenario. And what's that? It's going to get him killed. Are you insane? We're supposed to kill the bitch. Not leave gag gifts in the friend's beds. But Spike, the bad teacher was going to restore Angel's soul. What if she did? If you ask me, I find myself preferring the old Buffy whipped Angelus. This new improved one is not playing with the full sack. I love a good slaughter as much as the next bloke. But his little pranks will only leave us with one incredibly brassed off slayer. Don't worry, roller boy. I've got everything under control. Jeez, whatever happened to wood stakes? Uh-uh. No fair going into the ring unless he tags you first. You've had your fun, but you know what it's time for now? My fun! It hurts sometimes more than we can bear. If we could live without passion, maybe we'd know some kind of peace. But we would be hollow. Empty rooms, shuttered and dank. Without passion, we'd be truly dead. I've buried too many people, but only with the first I've loved. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't kill him for you, for her, when I had the chance. I wasn't ready. 